Good morning. I'm Daryl Sims, worship leader and executive assistant here at Light and Life West. And this morning, I hope that you're all feeling good. I hope that you woke up this morning feeling good and speaking something good into the atmosphere. If you can see the t-shirt I have on, it says, Speak Life. And I just want to encourage you this morning in the area of the words that come from your mouth. If you look at Proverbs 18, verse 20 and verse 21 in the King James Version, it says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And then the Message Bible version says, wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. I love what it says there, we'll reap the consequences. That means you will reap however you sow. If there's good words that come from your mouth, if you're speaking life, then you'll reap life. If there's negative words that come from your mouth, then that's exactly what you'll reap as well. I want to pray for us this morning that the words that come from our mouth are good words, are positive words. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this morning. I just want to start off by saying how good you are, how great you are, how loving you are. God, thank you for blessing us to wake up this morning. Thank you, God that we have the movement of our hands and our feet. And God, I thank you that there is a sound that comes from our voice. God, I thank you that we can speak life today. So God, I begin to speak life right now over every person who's watching this video. Every negative thought in their mind, every negative action from the past, or from the present, or anything that the devil may have spoken into their mind, God, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. And God, I speak that your word replaces that negative. That your word replaces everything that's not like you, everything that's not good. God, let your word fill that space. God, from every feeling of hatred, every feeling of burden, every feeling of being down, God, every feeling of being backed up against a wall, every feeling of depression, God, I cast it out and I speak your love, I speak your joy, I speak your peace, I speak your hope. God, let it infiltrate our minds and our hearts and our homes. God, we speak, you are good. God, we speak that you are greater than any circumstance. We speak you are greater than any problem. You are greater than any burden. God, you are greater than everything that may be even in our hearts. God, so with our words, God, with our mouths, we just speak praise unto your name. God, you are a great God. You are high and lifted up. You are worthy, you are wonderful. And so God, with these words, that come from my mouth, God. I cover every person who's watching this right now, God, that you have more entrance into their life, God. God, I pray that you, you allow them to let you take control of their lives, God. God, that where the devil has meant harm for them, God, that you are turning it around for their good. I pray that when they talk, their speech will be positive, God, and if they can't find 
anything positive to say that God, they won't say anything at all, but they'll just maybe lift their hands and honor you that way, God. But Lord, we come against a spirit of negativity and of negative speech, God, and we'll proclaim today that every word out of our mouths, God, will be something good. We thank you, God, for how you're healing our hearts, how you're lifting our hearts, how you're restoring us, and how you're bringing life overflowing, overflowing, and overflowing. Thank you, God, for the positive words that come from our mouths. And we believe that we will reap positively, God. Thank you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.